بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حفظ في الله we attest to the filthiness of the aqida of the ruafid the rafida and anyone who follows them and follows their path and their menhaj and their methodology and their creed. And this is not just because it opposes Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but in fact, not only does it uh, uh, differ, but it is an opposition, and that it is a aggressive creed and an aggressive menhaj similar to the way cancer can be quite aggressive when attacking the cells of the body. The creed of the Ruafid, as it spreads around the world, it must be kept at bay. The only way that we can do that is by spreading the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. The creed that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about the that it is a creed that would be, which which would be opposed. It is a creed that would be attacked, and it is a creed and a methodology which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described when he said, "If tarakat al Yahud ala ita wa sabain firqa, wa if tarakat al Nasara ala ithlatain wa sabain firqa, wa sataftariku hadhi umma ala thalatha wa sabain firqa." كلها في النار إلا واحدة كل من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على مثل ما كان عليه وأصحابي وما كان عليه وأصحابي. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم clarified for us that the Jews would break into seventy-one sects and the Christians into seventy-two sects and his ummah would break into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And then it was asked, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? The Prophet ﷺ said, those who are upon what I am upon and what my companions are upon. The Prophet ﷺ also said, when giving us the prescription for how we would deal with the conflict and fitna in times of discord and disharmony and disunity, and when we are being attacked and we are, we are strange, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, وَمَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَرَى اِخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا وَمَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَرَى اِخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّةَ الْخُلَفَاءَ رَاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِيِينَ عذو عليها بين واجد وإياك ممحدث الأمور فإن كل محدثة بدع وكل بدعة ضلالة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, and whoever lives after me shall see different, shall shall see many difference differences, shall witness many differences. And then he gave the prescription. فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي So it is upon you my sunnah. And the sunnah of the rightly guided khulafa, meaning Abu Bakr, وعمر, وعثمان, وعلي, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. And it is in that order, حَبَّتِ فِي اللَّهِ that we have the love and know their fadl, that it was first Abu Bakr, the strongest. Then Umar, then Uthman, then Ali, radiallahu ta'ala'ani majma'een. And we love them all. Because they were the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose them over the rest of his creations to be companions, radiallahu ta'ala'ani majma'een, to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Walau kari al-kafirun, walau kari al-mushrikun. So even though the disbelievers hated, even though 
the people of heresy hated. Even though the heretics and the most, the worst of the people hate it, we love Sahaba Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'een, all of them. And we believe they're all people of justice. And their khabar was thiqa, that they were the thiqat, that they were there, what they gave us and relayed and preserved as the message of Islam, we believe in it. And we don't even have to look further and we don't question their sacrifice and their trustworthiness because they were Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Allah Azza wa Jal chose them from above the seven heavens Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Ahaba Tifillah what can we say other than praising Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'een when Allah, the Lord of the worlds, chose them and praised them in the Quran. And the Prophet ﷺ said about them, radiallahu ta'anu majma'een, la tasubbu ashabi, do not curse my companions. The Prophet ﷺ said, idha dhukira ashabi famsiku, if my sahaba, if my companions, radiallahu ta'anu majma'een, are mentioned, then keep silent. So what, how, and what should we think about a people whose tongues are wet from the filth that spills and drips down their mouths with speaking about Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. What can we say about them? How can we cooperate with them? How can we call them our brothers in faith when they have negated faith? They have negated what Allah Azza wa Jal has affirmed. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Salawatu Rabbi wa Salamu Alayhi said, Khayrukum Qarni. Thumma al-ladheena yununuhum, thumma al-ladheena yununuhum. Qala Imran ibn Hussain, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, la adri adhkar al-nabi, أذكر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بعد القرن قرنه قرنين أو ثلاثة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وربي وسلم عليه said the best people are those of my generation. Then those who follow them. Then those who follow them. So Imran ibn Hussein رضي الله تعالى عنه he said I don't recall. If the Prophet ﷺ mentioned after his generation, two generations or three. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the Sahaba in the Quran in many places. And from amongst those places is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitabih al Karim, Muhammad Rasulullah, Walladina Ma'ahu. Ashaddā'u ala kuffār ruhamā'u bainahum tarāhum rukka'an sujjadan yabtahūna fadlam min Allāh wa rinwāna wa rinwāna Allāh subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem Muhammad the Messenger of Allāh and those with him meaning Allāh subhanahu wa ta'ala prays the Prophet Sallallahu and showed that he loved the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam because he was the closest, closest from amongst his slaves that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala created to him. The most beloved was the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the NBA. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, وَالَّذِينَ مَعْهُ And those with him. Who are those with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? It was the companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين that they were severe amongst those who disbelieved in the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and fought him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they were merciful between them and that's a lesson for us as Ahl Sunnah to be merciful to one another you will see them prostrating and making sujood 
seeking the fadl, seeking the reward from Allah and His pleasure. This is the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. So when someone asks you why it is you don't say the Shia are your brothers, we don't incite violence, but we realize, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, akfur min yahud wa nasara, that they have more disbelief than the Jews and the Christians. They have more disbelief on the scale of Islam when we wear their kufr to the kufr of Ahl Kitab. Their kufr is a shed because Ahl Kitab, in general, they may not be hostile towards the believers. However, those people, their tongue, they believe they're coming closer to Allah as an act of ibadah that they claim the Quran is, 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 is contradicts itself. Or they make takfir of Ahl Sunnah and they make takfir of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rid us of the fitna of the people of sickness the people who are ailed with a sick creed a creed in which they attack Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shut their mouths and rid them from the face of the earth. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.